Okay, welcome. Welcome to the fifth rule of highlighting the light. I have as an object our lip. You can take a selfie of your lip. And I would like to say something about the lip and what you should know about it. Actually, you know, this uh, sign for a mouth, and um, please forget about it. It's only rubbish or childish. A lip works totally different. So what we have, we have an upper lip and we have the uh, part beneath. And actually the upper lip consists of uh, an indent and then two outdents. And the under part has sometimes it's straight here or sometimes it's a little bit an indent and outdent. So this dep depends on the individual uh, physiognomy. And let's say it's like this. Okay, and actually the upper lip goes down and down and even the other part is going rather down and down. So in the middle here can be an indent as well as here can be a small rhythm that goes like this and then to the other side, something like this, this may happen. And regarding to the fourth uh, rule that we should leave things open i would highly recommend to leave the lines here open so this means uh i do this away so this means never draw a line after this leave it to your inner image to um fulfill the lines just give a little bit of a hint in what direction they are going just th do something like this because this is far enough uh, to do for a lip. But at the moment, it's still not a lip. The question is, how can we work with the lines that are on the lips? So we have these radial lines and you see they are going to form themselves in these directions. So with these roundings, you can see it here and you can see a similar concept here. So we have the lines that go to this direction. Okay, this is all about the concept. And now the question is, how can we apply the concept totally free to a totally uh, new idea? I want you to, ball, uh, to draw a ball of fur, so with highlighted lines. This is not so complicated because I show you here a highlighted line is a line that has pressure and less pressure and less and more. Okay, you understand this? So I want you to draw, but rapidly, something like a ball of fur with a mouse on it. So meaning that here you can draw you know the upper lip goes down again up and down here it's straight but here again up down up something like this something like this okay and now i have the form and now i can pronounce it okay and then i can do all this shading here with more lines like this and for the rest i just i do not want to do add anything but lines that have different gradients for thickness and so that and with this freckling here small parts here and here oh, sorry small parts here And they go out like the lines of the lip itself. Okay. And yeah, maybe this is enough, not more. Maybe it's a little bit weird, but why not to do this? But the thing I want to do uh, from you is that you have lines that have bolder and fainter parts 
like we have here, even bolder and fainter, bolder and fainter. You can trace maybe your very own lines that you did before and do them later. So at the moment, I think that's it. Happy sketching. If you want to see how I colorize this, stay on. Otherwise, do yourself your fulip and do a sketching by yourself. Happy sketching.